Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to talk about line-based family. So this is a line-based family. So uh, you can download this from this uh, day 337. Okay, so um, okay, so let's start. So this is the one. So if you download this family, so this is the generic model line-based family. So now let's place this um, into a project so let's create a project and load this long base into the project so first I'm going to talk about the placement okay so as you can see if you use place on face you won't be able to place it on this floor plan because there's no face available so you can use place on work plan so it will be able to Play, uh, you can place this onto the level okay so now let's go to 3d view so this is one of the uh, large based generic model so let me just show you so if you have something uh, in the model so for example this floor or you can have uh, a wall maybe and then you can place this CS create a similar you can use place on face so for example you can place it on the floor you can even place it on the wall you can place it on the side on the side of the wall or even you can place it under the floor okay so it's it's like it's uh, it's basically a face based family okay so this these are placement so um, so let me show you um, if, if you use uh, place on face so for example if, if I give this floor uh, a slope you will see these two will follow the slope okay okay so so the this is a placement let me just uh, so this is placement okay so now let me copy one to here and then I'll split so line we know that if we uh, model oh sorry if we do a model line we can split it right so become two model line and also you can so you change this you can you know you can adjust the line same as this uh, line based family so if you use SSL split so you can split this family into two line based family and also you can select them so you will see a little circle here you can adjust them same you can move one and the other one will follow okay so basically uh, just like um, line, uh, model lines or detail lines so exactly the same and then let me just copy this one to here so of course you can use trim and extend extend so if you go to um, modify so trim and extend so let me just I'll split here so for example I'll split this and I'll delete delete or delete okay so you can just like two walls so for example that walls you can tr you can trim two wall right so same so this line line based a family so you can trim them you can also let me just control z you can also use this so trim and extend single element so for example i'll, tr I'll extend this one so for example i'll just do this to here and I'll do this yeah or you can do this or 
let me just maybe do this. Okay, so exactly the same. So um, you can do um, whatever you can do with your walls or model lines or detail lines. You can do you can do you can do it on your line based families. Okay. Okay. So what's next? Okay, so the next one is, so uh, I'm going to schedule these panels and the posts. Okay, so now this is a generic model. And also if I uh, edit this family, so in the then tab, select one of the panel, you will see this is a nested generic model. So the same, so this post is a generic, mod, a generic model, nested family. So if I go back to uh, go back to the project, and if I create a schedule and generic model, and I'll just put um, the type in here and I click OK. So now you will say. It's only one, two, three, four, five. Ignore the ignore this. This is a model text. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine of them. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So two schedule all these panels and posts, we need to make them into shared uh, shared family. Okay, so now let's do this. So select one of these uh, line based family. So edit family. And then in here, tab select this panel and edit family again. So in this um, we just need to go to uh, properties, check this shared, to check this box. Okay. Now load this into a uh, line based family. And okay. And overwrite. Okay. Let's have a look. Shared family types cannot have properties driven by parameters of the host family. Parameters association will be removed from type. Okay. Um, so it is telling us that um, because. Okay, so let, let, let me just close this one, Can, cancel this one, go back to the panel family. So it is it was telling us that because the parameters of this so parameters of these panels because they are all type parameter. So we can't use type parameter in a shared family and control it in the host family. So uh, we need to change them. Okay so just change them into an instance parameter. And OK, and OK, and OK. So now load, load this uh, into the family again. Change, nope. Overwrite. OK, we are still, still uh, seeing this one, but it's OK. We can, we can just uh, continue, just click OK. So now let's select one of these. So this is an array, so one, two, three, and then edit group and then select this panel so now you will see these three so are the parameters so previously previously they are type parameter so now they are instance they are instance which means we can control them 
in here so you can link them onto uh, parameter length parameter oh sorry panel length panel length okay panel height panel height and the panel thickness panel thickness uh, here okay and all good so finish this group and then that's all good so now let's do the post so tab select the post edit family so um go go to property go to properties check this shared okay so this one we need to do the same thing so currently they are type parameter right so i'm just going to show you what uh what will happen if i don't change the type parameter in uh, to uh, to instance parameter okay so i'll just load this into the line based family and overwrite and click OK. So now if I select this group this one this group of this gray array sorry and edit group and select it so you will see they are because they are type parameter they won't be here so they are in type but because this is a shared shared family so you won't have this so usually you will have a if it's not a shared family you will have this associate to you know some parameter the little box there but because they are because it is a shared family so we don't have this one so which means we can't link this up into uh, the parameter oh, let me just finish this one so we won't we won't be able to uh, link the parameter to to these two okay so now let's close this and the tab select this one edit family and go to family types let's just change these two parameter um, and make them instance parameters okay so and click ok load into line based family and override now let's have a look so select this group edit group select this post you'll see this post uh, post height post width we will need to link this so post high and post oh sorry uh wrong one post with post with okay and finish so now it should be good to go um let's go load uh, let's load this into the project okay so overwrite and it it looks like nothing nothing happened but Excuse me. Uh, if you go um, to the generic model schedule, schedule, you will see all these. So they are actually uh, yeah, because I didn't uh, name them properly. So if we go to family, so under family, generic model, so you will see these two. They are shared parameter so one of them is a uh, post one of them is the panel so let me just edit so this is post so we can just we can just rename it here so so family now i'll just rename it a uh, post okay so you can also rename the family name if you want to choose but it's all up to you so I'll just rename this one panel and yeah if you have multiple type so you can rename you can duplicate but because we only have one that's that's all good just just call it panels so now you will see it's uh, will be listed in this schedule okay so now we can um, just uh, 
do some sorting I think and also we can filter out all the, the other so if you don't want to see this don't want to see this you can just filter field this uh, this schedule so um, maybe let me think how do we schedule it uncheck this one okay so now we have four different type um, maybe we can do uh, counting to um, footer okay yeah um, maybe just uh, total only. Uh, no, 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 not this one. We need, we need a, we need tight count and total maybe. Yeah, that's better. So we we have forty panels and forty nine posts. Maybe we need to uh, filter out these two. How do we do it? Maybe we can just um, maybe add some other parameters. So for example, type mark. So this is panel, I'll call it PA. And this is post, maybe I'll call it a PO. Okay. So we can add a prem we oh, sorry, add a filter here. So oh, maybe we need to add the field field first. So type mark, go to filter, type mark has a value. Okay. So that's better. And then we can, of course, if you don't want to see this, you can hide it. So now this is a, a schedule. So we can just, let me just uh, go to the shade, drag this onto the shade. So this is a little schedule tell, telling us uh, how many panel we need, how many posts uh, we need. So let me just drag that 3D view onto this sheet as well. And so now I'll just move it here. So I'll go into this 3D view. So now if we so copy it, you will see the number change, which will change. So draw, oh, sorry, CS, create similar, draw on word plan. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. Um, if you have any question, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.